Hey everyone, Hamad here. Welcome to my channel, Cloud with Hamad, DIY Cloud Learning to Inspire. For well, today, our web series is to perform data backup and restore using Azure Portal. This is Data Protection Module, an AZ-104 admin course. Now, before we start diving into Azure Backup Services, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe as I frequently upload videos. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, I am humbled and thank you. As always, please do hit that like button and share them with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Now, without further delay, let's go to our notes. All right, so looking at our notes in my OneNote, you can see this is a cover photo for my uh, video uh, architecture of Azure Backup. And then on your right, it is uh, like on-prem versus uh, cloud backup. So basically, you have data on-prem and you are backing up data on the cloud. If you need further detail, you can go to my GitHub rep and also a Microsoft document, which I will share the, both of the link in the videos. Uh, if you wanted to check, I am still updating. So by the time you will see this video, you should be able to see uh, the backup and re restore uh, in my GitHub page. Page. How to get here is just go to my web link uh, and then go ahead and look for uh, repo Azure and then you can just look for bad data data protection record and you can see step by step. I'm still working on that. I will finish that before uh, you know it gets to a point where everybody is on it. And then also on the link, I will also give you a location for Microsoft Azure backup uh, documentation. This is basically the location where Microsoft have introduction on all the backup services. Overview, what is Azure, and then how you can do backup on VM portal. Uh, tutorial it's a good lab you should definitely check it out i'm gonna f i usually follow these uh, so that uh, you know it's just error free so le let's do without further delay let's go and deep dive into how we're going to start the lab without further delay before we uh, log into our portal i want to make sure that you see these steps these steps are to create storage file share and then recovery vault uh, this is all uh, step by step uh, numbered so feel free to go and check it out in the github as mentioned i am i have copied this into my notes up here so that you know it's on the other screen uh, so that it's easier for me to work between but you know i will go through each one of the steps uh, and then we'll go from there okay let's log into our portal this is my portal i am logged in with my hamad azure this is a tenant uh, i will start creating our step one is to start create storage so the step one would be to create storage and i can give any name uh, we'll use um, We'll create a new uh, resource group as well. First, we'll go and give a name, backup and restore. And then we will create that in West US. I do that mostly on the West US because it's I am in West Coast. Click next. Uh, tag if you want to give the name as a tag. I would hit create so the resource group is created it's in my msdn platform subscription i would get here you can see there's nothing in there because i just created the first step is to create storage so for storage you can click up here and click storage here or you can just go and type in storage and then select storage here once you get here you have no i don't have any storage i'm going to just add the storage here add and then i will make sure i choose uh, msdn platform subscription resource group i just created backup and restore and uh, storage name i would just say storage for Hamad, I don't know if I can create one because I think that's already been taken by another subscription. So I would say uh, just Hamad one, you know, just for the sake of the naming. Uh, performance standard versus premium. If you go up here, you see standard storage accounts are backed by magnetic drives and provide lowest cost whereas uh, premium storage accounts are backed by solid state if every time you hover here you should be able to 
get a little bit more understanding. And if you click on these, uh, you should get to the Microsoft official website. It will tells you everything, just like the Azure backup here. So I, I would encourage you to go and check it out. Kind, what kind of a V2, V1? Once again, if you want to go up here, it explains that everything. Replication, I want to do local because I'm not doing uh, like a, I don't want to do uh, read access go geo redundant storage. This is a lab, so we'll just keep it at local redundant storage and hit next. And then, you know, because we want a public endpoint to all networks, and then we want to make sure the default uh, Microsoft routing is enabled. Data protection, these are different data protections like turn on point in time resource, soft delete blob, uh, turn on soft delete. I actually am working on uh, like storage section for Azure uh, video, I will hopefully uh, share with you in co coming weeks. Um, again, in advance, we want to make sure that secure transfer required is enabled, shared key access is enabled, uh, TLS version, you know, all go enable, um, blob access hot and cold. I would just leave it hot. Um, all, again, you know, definitions are there, and I will basically is I am making a video, so we will have a little bit more just detail on this. Click next, next, and then once the validation passes, you hit create. So the first step was to create a resource group. You can actually have it in any resource group if you want to, but I created a fresh resource group. I create a storage. And then in storage, I would create a file share uh, so that, you know, uh, we can start dumping some backup files for reference. Okay, so the resource uh, storage is done. So once we get to the storage, you can see that we are in the overview. We got containers, files, shares, table, queues. This is all storage. So uh, I will click on file share. And then once you get to file share, you will add a file share. You can just say, you know, file share for you. Just give them a name. Quota, uh, you know, I would just do uh, 20, 20 gig or 20 gig is fine. Actually, five gig is fine. Let's do that. Halt, cold, transactional optimize. And then I would hit create. And then let's go further into that file folder. You can see you can create some more upload files here or you can add more directory. I will actually add a directory and then I would say a folder one. And then, you know, I will add some files. So I really don't have anything. So what I'll do is I'll just go into like random files and folders in my uh, document and maybe I should be able to find something in there. Okay, I would go to my scripts. I would um, PowerShell scripts, select all, open, upload. And so this is all copying all my scripts. I eventually I have to delete, them. I will delete them. So I'm just for the sake of uh, uploading some files and then also restoring those files. And then go in this folder, I will add some more files. Um, actually, maybe I should just go up here. I don't need further. Uh, go one step and Kubernetes scripts or maybe if you really want to uh, know how to do Kubernetes, I do have a video. Feel free to check that out. It's really nice. Uh, Azure, the script, upload and that's it. So, so far we have created a storage and in that storage we created a file share. We uploaded some files in two folders. So if I go here, I have a file share and that file share has a subfolder which I put some more and then if I go back in this file uh, first and you can see some files there. So, so far we have done storage, file share, upload some files. Now we will create Azure Recovery Site Vault. So once for that we can just go Azure Recovery. I would say, I would just type in Vault. Recovery Service Vault, click here, and then you get to this point. 
Once you get to this uh, Azure Recovery Site Vault, I will add a vault. I will give it a name. Uh, you can give, you could basically just need to make sure that you have it in resource group. Uh, give it a name, vault for Hamad. And then obviously where your region is, it just usually picks up from the resource group as well because that's in West US. Click review and hit create. All right, so vault takes a little bit of time, so give it a minute and then you know the deployments is in progress so we will wait before we move further on the vault okay so I think the resource is deployed so we're gonna go into vault over here uh, there are a few tabs on the left that you need to make sure that you have properties backup backup items wherever the items will be backed up it's going to list up here and then policies how do you want to set up your backup time frame like what time you want to do the backup what days and then you know all the details reporting and then you know site to site recovery uh, first thing first step is to click on to the backup here over here this is the place where you actually have to define uh, what are you going to back up so what as it says what is your workload running okay where so I would say Azure yes not on the premise because what we're gonna do is first we will do Azure uh, in Azure which means that we are we have a workload is running in Azure web and virtual machine and then we also will look at file share and then once we do these two we'll go into Azure on-premises and then the on-premises will just upload some files here and delete and backup and restore from there okay so these are the three, three types of backups that we're gonna do okay so let's go up here select Azure first backup we're gonna do a file share backup because we already have uploaded the backup uh, we have uploaded some folders and files so we'll hit Azure up here in backup Azure file share and hit backup we'll get here uh, it asked me hey you know what where are you going to trying to save the files I said hey where is your I thought where is the file share we'll select and over here it should come up with my uh, uh, storage account where I created a, a, the file share for you uh, for and then I select this it will validate and then once it validates, it picks up my file share that I set it up over there so it just takes a little bit of while okay so it did took the storage now add the file share uh, I created this if you remember file share for you click OK and then policy uh, there's a default policy set up for daily at 10 30 p.m. UTC time it will back up but what we'll do is we'll create our own policy and then we will uh, say mod policy one one uh, today it's almost like 4 p.m. Uh, let's do 4 o'clock uh, 338 right so I'm in Pacific time so I'll just come down all the way here and I will say Pacific time and then you know retention range this is for 30 days I just need maybe two days you know I don't need it for that long anyways but you know this is fine and then you know next option is weekly backup points monthly backup points and nearly right now I don't need that I would just select this make sure I have I don't have space here and I think I had policy in there so I would just do one I think number doesn't work it does so okay click OK and I said hey you know what at 4 p.m. today a backup will happen I will hit enable backup so you can see it's starting to deploy a backup 
uh, instruction to do a backup at 4 o'clock. I will show you once it backs up as a reference point. Okay, so we have started initiating a backup for the file share in Azure. So if I go up here, uh, I would click on backup items. And once I get up to backup items, it should show a backup here. Here you go, Azure Storage, Azure File. So if I click further, you can see there is a success happened, which we did for as per the policy that we set up. So that was step one. Now the next step is to go back to backup and then remember I said Azure and then in Azure I want to make sure I workload would be Fireshell which we already did. Now we're going to do a backup for a VM. So for a backup for a VM first we need to create a backup. So what we'll do is we'll go up here and create a, a VM. Um, so log in to my uh, I would say tenant and then go up here to VM actually you know what we'll just use this one I actually created a VM uh, which was uh, Oh, let's do another one. That's okay, so that everybody can see how do I make the VM. It's okay to repeat the step. At least it gets easier to remember. Uh, same in this one. Uh, type in in backup restore VM. Best US. I will just uh, create a 2016. I can do Windows 10 as well. You know. Um, size I would just do B2 the smallest one again password I would just leave it for 3389 license confirm next since it's a lab we'll just keep it to standard encryption would be basically default next it will create a vnet it actually it is doing in the same vnet where the, the RG is um, IP basic RDP next uh, boot diagnostic I don't need it right now no shutdown backup recovery you can do it over here as well and you can say hey you know what what's the vault which we already created but I'm gonna show you from the vault it's much easier from there click next next no tag review and create as soon as the validation pass I'm gonna hit create and once it creates then we will move into taking a snapshot of the disk that is attached to it so that we have a, a, like a fresh snapshot okay so the VM is created and then you know it is in West US. We have a public IP. Okay, so this is done. So the next step would be to take image of this disk so that we have a fresh disk of a machine. And then later on in the end, I will show you how to uh, swap, like how to create an image from the disk also some how to swap a disk when a disk get corrupted as well so click up here on the disk site and then you see this is a disk that is attached to this machine we will take a snapshot of this disk and eventually in the end we'll try to hit swap disk and replace it with a, a, a new one uh, once we delete some files from there click here and then you hit create snapshot 
snatch up is right now like, you know uh, whatever is it you don't have to stop it and I would say snap Hamad VM full uh, VM snapshot we will say hey you know what standard HDD the encryption next 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 and then we'll just create a snapshot okay so uh, resource is done for snapshot we'll just go quickly and take a look at it it's done if you go into our resource group uh, you should be able to see a copy of snapshot happen so let's click here for a second uh, this is a resource group I created and then if I do this you can see there is an image snap mod that just we created okay so the next step would be to log into uh, VM and then once we log into VM, we will copy some files. Also, we will install uh, Mars, the agent that will uh, be used to to sync uh, the files and you know make backups. So give me one second. Let me pull up the machine here. Connect RDP. Download. All right, so we're logged into the machine. While it does it uh, stuff, I'm going to see if I can get some uh, stuff. So some files, uh, I'll just use this. Uh, let me see what we have, this is empty. So we have script here, a couple of them. Modules, no, I don't need modules. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. I'm, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna just delete this for a second. Um, some files uh, keep here copy going to the machine going to my vi over here and this is my uh, VM on the cloud so I'll go in my document and I'll paste this here Okay, and also make sure that I have this open. Okay, so the next step would be to, once we downloaded the full files and folders that we wanna make a backup of, we will go to our recovery uh, tool again, and we will download uh, our software, let me see get here come to properties and then over here on the property you can see that latest recovery service agent so I would say I would need this so I would download first actually no, I don't want to download here let's do this copy save copy link go to my VM also I want to make sure I turn off the enhanced security so that I keep not bugging us for the messages click here drop type in this and we will save it So this is an agent that will sync between uh, the VM versus N as well as my uh, the the crowd. This is also will use for on-prem uh, device as well. So Mars is agent next. I would run it. It initially first time it takes time but uh, you know we should be good here okay so here's the installation setting for Microsoft Azure recovery service agent setup wizard click next uh, I would not need proxy you're not connected 
for now it's showing up click next yes uh, updates for Microsoft next framework 4.5 PowerShell some dependencies next okay so once this is installed it's gonna ask for uh, authentication so what we'll do is we will go back to our um, act like a tool and we will generate a password so I just don't want to step them miss the step so um, just gonna go with you guys slowly here uh, proceed to registration and now it's asking for vault credential so for vault credential we'll go back here and then you know it says backup credential I checked already have download the latest recovery agent hit download so once you hit download it should open up this vault recovery password so I would just save this on my desktop for now and then I will move it to um, the machine so I'll just hit minimize I would go here rather than there. Desktop and the file would be hmm. Am I missing it or oh here you are. Copy this and I would go to my machine paste it on my desktop for now this is it should not be in the desktop by the way click here and then once I click on it you can see the file showing up here uh, so what I did was I click browse since it's on the desktop it's, I just select this I hit open and it's going to validate and it did validate the subscription identifier uh, expires uh, I think on 25th this uh, tells you where the vault is it's the name where it is over here you need to generate a pass phrase I would hit here generate pass phrase where do you want to save that pass phrase I would say let's save it in the document folder much more uh, safe finish it says you have uh, select a location that machine to store paraphrase expose paraphrase to secure machine you know I would just say yes you can also give it to your the folders that you wanted to back up on uh, the file share but I just did it over here so it's fine so now it is registering registering the server with Microsoft Azure backup um, it should be coming back up shortly all right I, I did pause the video because it takes time to register so now it's done uh, you just have to wait so once it registers click close launch the recovery agent so I will hit close and it should definitely launch up the backup agent you can see it's loading all right so this is the dashboard for Azure backup on your server you can do it like in this server and, and point it out over here you can see there's no jobs right now and then on your right it says uh, schedule backup recovery data so everything will happen from here you will schedule it you will recover it uh, so uh, and this is also will take place as uh, your uh, on-prem versus uh, so you can consider this as an on-prem you have a machine that is somewhere on the premises which is this machine and you are backing up the data so I will show you in a second here in, in the part three so click on schedule backup for the first time you know it's gonna go through the wizard next over here it's going to ask you what do you want to backup you will hit add item and in add item you want to define C drive D drive E drive I would say C drive and 
I would say user test admin document in the document I, I let's do the whole document folder so click here click OK so you can see the files that I copied in the document folder is up here so click OK now it tells you that hey you know what these items are done you can do multiple like you know can you can go just download folder favorite folder you know pictures folder and then hit next over here you can do weekly or you can do daily uh, so it's uh, what uh, for me it's uh, almost what uh, 423 so let's do one at 430 so at 430 today and then we'll do at 5 these are like three time slots and then one do 530 that I can specify I can do more next and it tells you on Saturday you know read write policy you know yearly monthly we're not doing it for that long but you know just it defines your like when it will be back up next transfer of the network yes uh, data box uh, transfer using your own disk you can have your own separate disk I would not recommend just use the network click next files and folders this is the summary and it will retain for 180 days hit finish so it started to create a backup and it started it said that you know create backup schedule so what we'll do is click close and one thing that I would just uh, for the sake of showing you what we'll do is first we'll do a backup now just to make sure that you know we have a copy of the backup for today uh, next same folders backup and it's taking a snapshot so what's going to happen is uh, the this is uh, basically uh, showing up that you know we're just taking an initial backup and then next thing we'll do is we'll actually uh, schedule the backup so when we go back to the backup item you should see in virtual machine uh, that you know there are certain backups that is and so uh, so let's just finish and then I will show you uh, the next like what I'm trying to say almost complete for the data transfer here all right so job is complete which is the one that we just did a backup so we'll close this for a second as we discussed that I have scheduled a backup as you can see up here uh, there is a schedule for 4 30 5 o'clock at 3 so there will be an incremental backup so that's happening here so click here uh, we will minimize this for a second we'll go back to our portal and then once we get to our portal go back to your vault and then look at up here it should in my opinion it should show up a backup for via agent you can click on here you can see there is a backup happening at 4 o'clock this was we just did actually this was earlier before okay so we're gonna wait and it should show up here it's not here yet so at 430 you should see something initiating so once we did the backup all from the agent, it was successful at 4.25. Uh, if I look up here, latest was 4.25. This was like backup now. So that's where it did make a backup uh, for this VM. Now we will have another backup starting at 4, 4.30. That is actually the backup of uh, that will be an automatic backup. So let's wait and see. I'm going to quick do a quick pause and then I will return back okay so one thing that I need to do in the vault is to add the machine so click on Azure so if you come here in the vault you have backup so you select it virtual machine once you do that add some stuff add the agent you schedule the backup I am behind time so I think the 430 time frame just left I'm gonna change my um, 
my schedule timing as well. For now, just come here on the vault, click on backup item, virtual machine, and then over here you need to add a virtual machine. So again, policy, I would say policy two, daily at 440, 437, 4, oh, okay, 440, 4, Okay, 440. Let's do a five o'clock, and I will just Pacific time. Great day and copy for two days. I don't need for 170 days, 107 days, and click OK. So what I did was I actually defined the scope in the backup that, hey, you know what, this machine on the network, which is in West US, uh, you just need to make sure this is the policy. And then now I'm going to hit Add here. And then you can see there are multiple machine in that resource group or in that subscription. I would just select this one because this is the one that I want. And I would hit OK. And I would enable the backup. So once that is happening, uh, at five o'clock, it's going to back up my machine that I created. Uh, in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll uh, go just to save some time. Part three of this is to backup on prem file share server. So let's go there for a second. So the backup is I scheduled a. A backup restore and then now if I go back to my vault here uh, remember we talked about the three kinds of backup that we'll be looking at first was an Azure workload we back up a file share we back up a virtual machine we just did now we will go to on-prem in on-prem if you where's your workload it's in some building somewhere, which just can be on-prem. I would say, it says, hey, what do you want to back up? You would say, you want to back up a file share, you can system state, you know, whatever is listed here, VM, virtual machine, Hyper-V. I will just select file, file share because that's right now the best time. So click prepare infrastructure and same thing. What we'll do is we will download an agent uh, into a machine. Uh, so if you remember, we did this earlier where we downloaded this software in this machine here. This is the software. So now what we're doing is we're using the same machine to show that, hey, you know what, this machine is sitting in some on-prem. Like this is going to be considered as an on-prem in some building as an example. And then we already have the credential. We downloaded it and that's it. We're done here. So once again, this is done, same function, go here, and then we will just uh, delete some files from our, once the backup is done, we'll delete some file from the C drive, and then we'll try to restore for on-prem. Like on-prem and this creating a snapshot is pretty much the same. Uh, you would consider this machine as sitting in VM, uh, somewhere in, in some location, same process to, to download the Mars software, uh, for the credential and then you basically go ahead and you know recover okay so let's do one more thing here while uh, we have it for five o'clock I think it's 440 um, it's still taking some um, some backup so if I go here backup item and you can see here now it shows up virtual machine uh, its initial backup pending. So the schedule has been done. So it's set for five o'clock. So we'll wait for that happens. Now in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll go to our uh, file share. So let's say go back to our storage. So this is like all the backup thing, right? Now what we're gonna do is we will go into store uh, restore part. 
you go into storage and then we go to our files here and then you can see we have some folders there okay so let's delete all these files because we already have a backup folder stored from there I'm just going to quickly delete some files and come right back up. So once this is deleted, we will restore it. So directory, it's not letting me delete, but I can just go inside the directory. I'll just leave these two here okay so now once these are delayed I can see you can see that you know there is not nothing here in this folder I will come right here at the backup and once I get to the backup I will either say backup now or restore share or restore file recovery so we'll do both we'll do first we'll do restore share and once we get here you can see this is the restore that this is the backup that we did earlier so this is going to create a folder an extra folder so it says original location alternate location i would just say i would just leave it here and then it will create a folder i would say okay and restore and also let me show you first that happens here so it's just restoring from the one that backup that we did so it's restored trigger successfully progress of the backup job so if you want to go into backup job you can just come to here You can see, you know, the Azure file, we deleted some files and now it's restoring and it says it's in progress. If I just refresh, it's not that many file, but you know. So you can see this is uh, complete. So we did restore, go back to our files here and then I would go to main and you should see a restore folder there you see everything is there everything that we deleted is there even in here as well so this is to restore the directory so let's go back here one more time and I would just go back to my vault actually let's go back to files here backup and this time I'll do a file so this is individual file so let's say if you want to pick up a file click next and it tells you hey you know what location or alternate location or same I would put it in the same because you know we you know this is from the backup say you know we want to pick some files let's say uh, this folder select directory two files restore again go back here refresh you should see another job starting
This is to, to restore the file from the file share. This is similar to um, whether you are on the premises, you have a fire shell uh, in, on a storage on the cloud. You can use the same function to back up your file and as well as when you are at the location and you want to back up your file from a storage drive and restore it from there. So next. It should back up those files. Okay, so that is also done. Let's go back to your files here and then go back here and you can see that the folders is here. So we selected this file and then we also said, hey, put everything that is in that folder up here. So it copied everything. So this is a good example to see how you can back up uh, files here and then restore from your previous backup. Okay, so now the next step would be to wait for our uh, five o'clock job. So if I go here, um, I would go backup item. Uh, we have a backup waiting for five o'clock because I think we already have uh, missed the four o'clock, 4.30 window. So now we're just gonna wait for it to happen again. Uh, and this, you can see actually up here on the policy, and backup policy come here and then you can see there is a virtual machine policy 2 and you can see daily at 5 p.m. Pacific so at 5 o'clock in 10 minutes it should initiate a backup and it says retain a backup taken every day at 5 p.m. I'm gonna put a pause and I will come back at 5 o'clock to show you that there is a backup have initiated and then push put and put a pause again till we get a backup done once once that is happens I will move to deleting some files from delete the same folders that I uploaded and then I will restore that folder so it may it will make sense for you guys okay so uh, welcome back uh, I put a pause uh, at like, uh, earlier so that I can schedule a five o'clock job you can see um, that you know this is in progress where it's a uh, taking a backup for the VM uh, at 5 o'clock. If you remember, I put a 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock and 5.30 backup. So uh, it's gonna take place. Uh, we will uh, go back and forth. In the meantime, let's say if I wanna uh, show you something different as well, uh, because it's this is gonna take time. So let's go back in here in the VM. You can see there are two backups that were done earlier that was basically backup now. So what we'll do is we'll go up here in the machine and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll just delete these. So in document folder, get here and then we'll just uh, delete these here. And then we'll, yes. And then once we delete that, obviously we don't have it, the whole file. Uh, now we will go back to our backup, uh, Microsoft Azure backup, and then go to the tool. And then we'll hit here on the right, it says recover data. Once we hit recover data, it says, hey, you know what, you can use this visit to recover file and backup services. To get started, identify the server. You can get it from any other service as well where you file our source or you can go to this server where you know backup restore VM and click next and then you can do an individual file or you can do a volume uh, let's do mount let's mount a file so click next and then once you hit next it's going to show you hey what uh, what do you want to mount actually before you do that let me show you one more thing here cancel this here so if you look up here this data if I click on here it says backup job completed um, available recover points there are two available 125 and then 1252 so you know at the C wall so we'll just take the so it, you can have multiple so let's say if you did some work today uh, it, you schedule for backup tonight and then tomorrow when come in and you say hey you know what I missed my file or deleted my file can I get a restore so they will send it a ticket in and then whoever is the admin, they will go into this place and they will look for uh, basically the file that they want to restore point and they will select it from there. Okay, so just wanted to make sure you do understand that. Click on recover 
next uh, individual files and folders you can do hold the whole volume if you want click next and then we select C and then it says which date I would say 14 we don't have anything you know so we'll go 15 we have two time 52 and 50 25 let's do 52 uh, click same way the backup that I'm doing scheduled backup will come up the same way that is happening right now uh, we will do that as well in a second here once we have the file in the system click mount and it's going to restore and mount the file in the C drive for whoever the customer is or you are for you in this case we'll just go into the C drive to see if there is any other drive that was mounted in our um, explorer and we should be able to verify if the file did restore did took place as you can see I deleted the file so okay though it did cover it says go ahead and browse can see that there is a you try same thing document see these files are backed up so if you don't understand what I did was I come here and the file remember we deleted that file from the document folder nothing in here but it did created a temporary F drive uh, and this that's where the backup the backup is click on here you should see everything that one that we deleted and then once you copy this so if a customer you have showed them that hey you know what this is a f drive you want to copy your stuff i would copy this here and i would go back to my document i would paste it and i would say hey we're good unmounted are you sure you want to unmount yes you unmount it and then you know this backup is already taking place. Remember, we have a time schedule at 5 o'clock. So we'll just leave it like this. Um, go back here, minimize this. And if I go now, I don't see any temporary file because I unmounted from there. So, you know, that file is gone. So that's how you would backup and restore a file from uh, a VM. Uh, now, next step is to wait. Uh, I'm going to do a pause and come back right now if you can see over here you can see there's a file that is recovered so logs are being done in the meantime if I go to vault um, I should see that hey this, this is in progress so we'll wait and come back all right welcome back guys it took uh, about an hour one minute to back up the entire machine through schedule um, as you can see uh, we started uh, this at um, uh, let's say if we can say let's go to backup item here first and then click on to VM this already was taken place we need to go to overview Okay, so what we're going to do is we will have uh, a restore point already made, I showed you here. Um, this was done. This was earlier. Uh, what we're going to do is we can all either come here and then we would restore a VM. Select an image, whatever the closest snapshot and the vault. This is the latest one. This is a copy was also done here. Or you can just click here, uh, add snapshot only. Click OK. You can restore configuration existing. Just select the restore point from the storage. Or you can create a new one, uh, restore disk, backend, and restore uh, resource group. 
click restore and it should restore the file for you or the drive for you another thing that I want you to see is come here click on recover and then over here it says you can do it from this machine or you can do it from another server if you do another server you just need to make sure you have the credentials with you click OK and then click next and it's going to show you hey you know what there is a storage and the storage for Hamad one that was the backup that we did click here Paraphrase is the same one that we had and then click next uh, you can mount a volume you can system store um, you can hit next volume you can select whatever for that front time frame click next you can do another location I can just do uh, here easier way I'm going to do in the download as well create copy so that you know you have both next recover internal service uh, okay well, I think that's how you would basically recover your file as well so uh, that probably it so once again I actually you can restore from here you can either go to your image the snapshot that I took here and then you can create a disk this one none premium SSD you can change it to standard encryption you don't have to next 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 and next so once this once this gets created all you need to do is I will actually do another video that is just to uh, in, to basically create a VM take a snapshot and then uh, close that and then reattach uh, create a new VM from the step snapshot that's why I'm not showing you up here for now but this is how you will come here and then once you get to your machine uh, all you need to do is um, click on the machine that you created go to disk and then over here you would just um, either once you cap so capture is the place where you take a snapshot for now we're just going to the disk here and then we will swap disk because once you hit swap you should see a list of images that are showing up which we are not doing right now because I will do that separately in a different video but that's how you will restore uh, a, a drive that is corrupted within a VM okay so I think that's pretty much it uh, I wanted to show you that you know the Azure uh, Azure vault service where you can take a um, backup for um, uh, Azure VM or file share and then same concept goes where you have a VM that is somewhere on premises and you want to take a backup for that you just come right here uh, select on premises download the Mars agent select file, file folders and then you know once you hit prepare just copy these uh, files at Mars agent to the machine on site install it credential it make a backup and that's how you would resort it. okay and then while I was waiting while I was waiting for backup to happen I did uh, cleaned up a little bit of uh, the github uh, repo so you have everything here steps how how you created how I created the file and you know same goes if you have any question feel free to reach out to me uh, if you have uh, any other videos that you want me to prepare means that any lab for AWS or Azure uh, any lab that you think it would be beneficial for you feel free to message me or leave a comment uh, and I should be able to create one um, I thank you for you watching the videos if you really like the video uh, please feel free to uh, hit that like button again once you have a question if you have a question feel free to ask there is this whatsapp um, barcode if you want to reach out to me via whatsapp just scan this and, and send me a text and then there are some old videos that I, I have posted on my uh, my youtube channel uh, some of them are in in a group lab and some of them are in English uh, 
If you like anything else, feel free to reach out. For now, have a great day and thank you again for watching this video.